sweet old classic. The wind in your hair, the sun in your face, ah, the steering wheel in your hands. Ah! Ah! Easy, girl. Easy now. Don't give up the ghost just yet. It's my lucky day. Used cars and Bolorama next exit. Oh, just in time. Oh boy. I need a new car. But where am I gonna get 500 bucks? Whoa, -ho -ho. if I could beat the Bolorama champ, I could bag myself a swell new set of wheels with the winnings. Ah, uh, booey. Dead as a doornail. And in the no parking zone, too. Oh well, I'll only be a minute. And what's more, I'm tired of being your lackey. Why, I lie for you, I cheat for you, wash your garments a lot. Why should I have to do your dirty work? Because I'm a buzzard, which gives me the right to boss little boys like you around. That's why. Where do I sign up to beat the champ? Why, right here, my good sap. I, I mean, sir. Of course, there is a nominal entrance fee of $5 that entitles you a chance to beat me, the champ. Hmm. Aw, oh, shoot. I seem to be a tad short. Do you suppose I might use my fine automobile as an entrance fee? Buddy, you got yourself a contest. <laughs> ha! Too bad. You left a 7-10 split. You'll never get that. <laughs> what? That's impossible. But not improbable. <laughs> Oh, look! The space shuttle! Where? I don't see the space shuttle. Huh? Say, what kind of an alley is this? That was a perfect shot! Perhaps you need corrective lenses. to see what I'm seeing. <laughs> I think there's some cheating going on. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> now that's a split. <laughs> Ooh, you're not doing so good. Chalk me down for another... <laughs> Steerike!
$1,000 reward. Larceny, robbery, unlawful toenail clips. Why that no good thief and cheat? Hello, operator, get me the police. That's right, officer, the Buzz Buzzard. He's here, at the bowling alley. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, huh, uh-huh, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. But, but, officer, he's wanted for cussing. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, huh, uh-huh. For littering, for jaywalking, for bouncing checks, for petty larceny, fraud, for bank robbery. Yeah, well, that's really swell, pal, but we're pretty busy here with serious cases right now, and, uh... But, officer, he's parked in a red zone. What? <laughs> It's not how it looks. Step out of the vehicle, sir. It's not my fault. I was just... Maybe I didn't make myself clear. I said, step out of the vehicle! You have the right to shut your big yap. If you waive your right to shut your big yap, it may be shut for you. So long. Thanks for the reward. See ya. Hate to be ya. <laughs> you know, this life of leisure is wearing me down. What I need is a vacation. Hello, travel agency? I'd like to book a vacation, preferably somewhere warm. I've saved my whole life for this trip, so money is no object. You heard me. A nice long holiday. What a swell setup. Hello, friend. You look like you could use a vacation. Who are you? Boink Buzzy, traveling vacation salesman. Glad to know ya, chum. Glad to know ya. Yes, sir. You have just won a free vacation to the Joyman Polynesian Islands. With a one-time processing fee of $5,000, you will be well on your way to the island vacation of your dreams. Hmm. German Polynesian, eh? Well, how come I never heard of them? Why, well, uh, that's because uh, it's an island and they don't have any phones. It, it keeps away the riffraff. How quaintly rustic. Well... I have to think about it. There'll be girls, sport. Ah, oh, go on with you. Not just any girls, chum. Hula frows. Hula frows? What's a hula frow? <laughs> Woo there's just the business of the five grand. Then you're good to go. Hula frows, here I come. Okay, let's get this crate off the ground. Hey! Please, don't annoy the pilot there in takeoff. This I gotta see. Contact! <laughs> Buzz the ground control. We are experiencing turbulence. Mayday! Mayday! Geronimo! Join us now for thrilling tropical high dive spear fishing in our exotic fish tank. So long, sucker! Look what I caught! Oh, swell. And guess what? For a hundred bucks more, those can be cooked up in a customized culinary concoction by our very own Chef F.E. New. Chef F.E. New? Yeah, if he knew you were coming, he'd have baked a cake. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hey, you. Where's this so-called luau? What luau? This luau. The one with the hula frows. Right this way, my good fella. <laughs> hula frows. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's silly. <laughs> Surf up, Wahini Schnitzel. <laughs> more ice, more ice, man. Where do you keep the ice? What's going on in there? Sorry, invitation only. Oh boy, the song, the thrills, the hula frows. What a luau! And I owe it all to you, pal. This is the best vacation I've ever had in my life. Wait a minute. There ain't no luau. There ain't no vacation. And I'll prove it. But... <laughs> Woohoo! I'm taking over this vacation. Oh, yeah? Well, I paid for it. There's your money back. Deal's off. Now get lost. I'll report you to the German Polynesian Travel Bureau. German Polynesian? <laughs> you go ahead and do that, chum. I made it all up. There ain't no such a thing. <laughs> German Polynesian Travel Bureau? I'd like to report someone. Yo! Yeah, some buzzard tried to sell me a scam vacation. Hula frows here, I come. Crowbar, Jack, the, the dynamite. What am I gonna get next? How about five to ten in the pokey? No! Away from me, Woodpecker. This is my barbecue. <laughs> Dial prank phone. It's the next best thing to eating there. Oh, fur. Hello? Hello? Who's this? Woodpecker, get out of my yard! Gee, Wally, I don't think your phone goes that far. <laughs> Let's do lunch again real soon, Wally. <laughs> are you annoyed by a woodpecker who constantly troubles you to your wit's end? Of course you are. And does he look like this? Yeah, you bet. That's the guy, all right. Right there. I thought so. Well, have you tried... The silent treatment? Well, I guess not. Apparently not. not, Einstein. Many have tried and many have failed. But the new Dr. Doug Nuts technique really works. Yeah? Well, I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, a skeptic, eh? Well, let's see the doctor illustrate the technique. So, Dr. Nuts, how's it going? I said, how's it going? Yeah. I'm not saying a word. <gasps> it really works. 
See? This too can be you for only 17 payments of $39.95. Hello, Nutco Inc.? Yeah, send over a silent treatment right away. <gasps> oh boy, silent treatment instructional audio. The silent treatment. Well, I wonder what's on the old agenda for today. I think I'll play golf today. Or... Darn flowers, how's a guy supposed to golf? Hmm, this tree's right in the way of my shot. Well, I'm not a woodpecker for nothing. <laughs> Don't forget rule number 17. Uh, I'm not saying a bird. Atta boy! Wally's gonna be mad. Better not let on I was playing golf. Uh, gee, uh, what happened, Wally? I, I heard a big crash. Uh, <laughs> uh, lucky the tree didn't fall on you. It's not that big a deal, right? <clears throat> okay, okay, I admit it. It was me, Wally. But I'm good for it. Not now, but I'm good for it. Later. Oh, so it's the silent treatment, eh? Well, we'll just see about that, Buster. I'll break you, or I'm not fit to call myself a woodpecker. you down? Is it a problem with your neighbor? Is this walrus giving you the silent treatment? And does he look like this? It's him! I thought so. Then what you need is Dr. Doug Nutt's anti-silent treatment technique. Ah, oh, pshaw. Go peddle your papers. Oh, another wise guy, eh? Well, I'll just let the doctor illustrate the technique. Say hello, doctor. Oh, Dr. Nuts. <clears throat> knock, knock. Knock, knock. I said, knock, knock. Who's there? <gasps> I'm not saying a word. It works. That's right. For just 17 easy payments of $39.95, you'll get a reward-winning book of 1,001 knock-knock jokes guaranteed to break anyone's silent treatment or even their will to live. Ah, phooey. Who needs a book? I got a thousand and two knock-knock jokes right here in the old bean. <sighs> Ain't it swell? I'm finally rid of the woodpecker. Oh, no, you're not. Hey, Wally, how's about a couple of words for your old buddy? Knock-knock. <laughs> Who's there? Thank <laughs> you. 
I love sports season. Just me, the TV, and all the snacks I can eat. Yes, it's a great day for an exciting game of badminton. They got the bad part right. Hi, it's a fine day for the healing games. I love the healing games. Better stock up on some more munchies. Now, where are my haggis-flavored pork rinds? This concludes our free preview. If you want to see the healing games, call your local cable service and pay up today. No, me healing games. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Walrus. You're an official cable subscriber. Yippee dippee. I uh, get a bonus for any referrals, Mr. Walrus. Maybe you could have some friends over to enjoy the Highland Games. Did you say Highland Games? <laughs> No Highland games for me. Just the Swedish channel, yeah. Hey, buddy, can you put your cable on sale for a true Scottish patriot? The Highland games are the pride of me people. Wait, I've watched them since I was a wee scraper of a twig pecker. No discounts on my watch, Red. You pay full price like everybody else. Only two hours till the game. And I can't afford full price. I need cable. Oh, yoy. The Swedish channel. Hmm? Excuse me, Mr. Walrus, but we forgot one crucial part of your cable. The black box. Alrighty then, Mr. W, we'll phone you from the cable office. You tell us when your parabolic receiver is giving you the best reception. Hello? Okay, Mr. W, I just need you to scan through the channels and stop on 47. Stop right there. And, uh, could you turn up the volume? Now, don't move for, say, oh, a week while we make some very technical adjustments. Just doing a service check, Mr. Walrus. How's your cable service going, huh? The cable's still not coming in. What? Just, uh, <laughs> sampling. Woodpecker! It's a federal offense to impersonate a man at a cable. <laughs> I'll be keeping a sharp eye on you, Red. That cable service is licensed to Mr. Walrus's TV and his TV only. Hmm. If the cable's wired to Wally's TV, that's just okie dokie with me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Neighbors should share and share alike. Swedish channels cooking with meatballs, followed by the hit game show, Oh Boy, Who Wants a Green Card? <laughs> Today's recipe is entitled Cooking with Plutonium. We will make the average wiener dog into the uber wiener dog. First, we must boil the water, but not just any water. Use Swedish Fjord bottled water. Available for a short time only to use Swedish channel viewers for only $30 a month. Call the number on your screen and order now. Now, pour two cups of Swedish Fjord water into the pan and bring it to a bowl. Next, Ooh, look! The, the alphabet's in my super spelling out a message. Don't hit the good-looking woodpecker. Such flavorful yoy from such a small herb. I've got to watch the games. Wait a minute. The cable is registered to Wally, so the cable can only be watched in Wally's house. Not a problem. <laughs> hmm, this is odd. <laughs> Today's simulcast will cover all sorts of events from the... This is yours. Yeah. 
Forget cable. Satellite is the best reception on the planet. Three, two, one. And the best part is, it's free. <laughs> get to watch the Highland Games. You're under arrest for violation of airspace, violation of international satellite treaties, violation of local and federal zoning laws, and for generally having an all-out bad idea. You can't arrest me. I can't, but he can. Oh, boy! We get the Highland Games! The only games in here are chess by mail and a little diversion the boys call, Hey, what are you staring at? Now for my version of what are you staring at, the Highland Games. <laughs> Could you at least turn up the volume? I guess you'll have to settle for Wiener Wallies. Huh, I'll never eat at Wallies. He's the guy who put the worst in Bratwurst. Yuck. <sighs> I've got it. I'll buy your cart. Okay, but you know it's gonna cost you 500 bucks. 500 bucks? Hmm. Aha. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, mm hmm. Plenty of room. Wow, a heated pool. I'll take it. Hmm. What's this going on here? <sighs> I've forgotten more about selling Wieners than that boat hacker will ever know. Oh, yeah. I would like to buy a hot dog, please. Coming right up. That's one for you, and one for me. <laughs> okay, so that's just one customer. And that's one too many. Hey, mister, can I get a dog, please? Ah. That's one for you, and two for me. <laughs> Zwerg, that does it. My corner, Bootpecker! You know, I get the distinct feeling someone doesn't want me around. Moo -doo 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 -doo. Come back soon. Yeah. Over here! Over here! I've got just one thing to say. That's my corner! <laughs> that should fix that woodpecker, you bet. <laughs> Why for you bury me, wiener boy? <laughs> Guess who? <laughs> you want a 
Vinivor! You got the Vinivor! Woodpecker! You'll never sell hot dogs on my corner, wiener boy! <laughs> <laughs> This is the best hot dog mix I've ever tasted! Oh, my aching meatball. You, you woodpecker, look what you done! I'll get you! <laughs> boys, boys, break it up! With your new hot dog mix and my investment capital, we can make millions! Where do we sign? Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm the boss. Will, will I get my hands on you? You come no, here, you, you. I'm the boss, and I say no work today. Oh, boy. Woo! The tube steak terrorist, you won't ruin my chance to make millions. Ah, go on with you. Give me your best shot. Bet you can't hit me with hot dogs. Oh, yeah? Then take that, and that, and those, and those too, you bet. <laughs> <sighs> If we're gonna be partners, you're gonna have to work faster than that, wiener boy. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Mother Nature, I have an excuse. No excuses, Woody. You're way behind in your pecking. I'll be back later to check up on you. Now get pecking, pecking, pecking. Oh, no. I'm 5,000 pickles behind. She'll demote me to a chigger this time for sure. Unless... This here's the Uber Termite, genetically created in my lab for, apparently, for efficiency and ferocity. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I call him Lester. What are you looking at, you red-coated pig farmer? Oh, boy. I'll take him. All right, Lester. Go on out there and put some holes in those trees before Mother Nature gets here. Holes? Holes are for golfers and lose the woodpecking. <laughs> you had better start cooperating, mister. Or else. in the trees, not the whole tree gone. Oh, what are you, my father? If he keeps this up, I won't have a forest for Mother Nature to inspect. Uh-uh-uh. Here you go. This will help you make little teeny pecking holes, like a woodpecker. Now, the only sound I want to hear is this. 
Yes, sir. That little guy is gonna make my life so easy. I said, little teeny pecks, like a woodpecker. Learn from the master. First, pick out a tasty spot. Next, aim. Then do what woodpeckers do a best. I think Junior's got a bad attitude. I can see I'm going to have to keep you on a short leash. A little peck, then move on. Now a peck of that tree. And take a peck of that one. A fight might a termite bite if a termite could not bite. Paint is just a ticket. I'll trick that termite out of here. Then I'll paint the forest back before Mother Nature even gets here. Nice job, Picasso, but the uh, where's your house? My what? Huh? What? Hmm. Why it's right over here. Thanks, big guy. Now into your room. You're not my father, so you can't tell me what to do. Enough already! I'm taking you back. Ah, phooey! That little termite you sold me is a... a monster! Now I need something that'll grow trees. Fast! These vigor growth seeds should do the trick. to that nice woodpecker's trees. Uh, he said then I did the holes, the trees with the doctor and the thing. Get home! Now! <laughs> 6,607, 6,608. Well, it looks like that little woodpecker finally did some work. But you, Mr. Termite? Why haven't you met your quota? I... No excuses! Start munching that bark, or I'll demote you to a cheater! Ow! But I'm... Let's move it, move it, move it! I mean it, you loafer! Please, listen! Get busy! Wait, I'm not who you think! Let me explain! sued fizzle.
Universal Electric Blanket 2000. So hot, it can cook breakfast in bed. Breakfast not included. Fizzle Electric Blanket 2000 not to be used by the sick, elderly, pregnant, bipedal, etc., 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 etc. Do you look good in floral print shirts and harem pants? Sure we all do. So why not warm yourself on the most beautiful beaches in the world? Visit these tropical islands. The islands are a perfect place to return to your primal self. Explore. <laughs> Stuff your belly, then sit back and let the UV rays saturate your brain. Get that golden brown tan you've always wanted. You'll be looking good and living life the tropical way. Still not hot enough? Hey there, you gourmet chefs. Tired of the same old meat substitute? Here's a tip. Into a succulent meal is one ingredient. Finally, I can entertain some chums with a proper dinner party. And that secret ingredient is. Hmm, peculiar little character. <laughs> Finally uncovers the plot to sink Bowen Island. Diane, the madman behind all of this is... That boy's more aggravating than a bad case of shingles. And this is how you hula! A wiki 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 wiki! Such a polite little fella. Hold on just an ice picking minute. Looks like Christmas is coming early this year. Oh, ain't he as cute as a bug's ear? I'll just take him to his home and let him rest up. And now, our afternoon movie, Frigid Winter. Frigid Winter? That got a five ice cube rating. Sakes alive. They just don't make them winter pictures like they used to. Huh? Now this here is the flake that broke the snowman's back. This berg ain't big enough for the both of us, penguin. What's he waving for? That really shaves my eyes. Y'all catch my drift? The Tropical and Tropical, Lipotensing White House pages. Tonight, we reveal the answer to one of life's greatest mysteries. Are we alone in the universe? Do UFOs exist?
Professor Smith. Do UFOs exist? As a gentleman, this shouldn't bother me. <laughs> That's the problem with penguin meat. It runs right through you. It's almost time for the lotto drawing. And tonight's South Pole Lotto is worth $40 billion. You could buy a lot of fun in the sun with that money. But this will be your only announcement. You snooze, you lose. 14, 22, 64, 93, 56, 71. And the final number is... The vacation getaway of a lifetime! Only one thing a grown dog can do at a time like this. <laughs> We go on the air in 15 minutes! Now go find me some wildlife for my wildlife show! Yes, Helga. Anything you say, Helga. <sighs> hmm. Someday the star will say Monty, host of Monty's Magical Wildlife Show. Not today. The pie's particularly good today. Hold on. You're a wildlife. <laughs> Nothing's wilder than a penguin. Penguins just love fishies, and this will be the perfect bait. Life is so gullible. Helga! Helga! I got me a penguin! And it's got a little hat! I like that! Let's shoot it! <laughs> Money! Back in a flash. The gumbo's decidedly delish. Well, good thing I didn't recommend the sampler tray. Oops.
Get the penguin. Forget the penguin. Let me make this easy for you, okay? Get me the polar bear! Offer him anything he wants. All the food he can eat. Just get him on the show! Or you're fired! I could host a better wildlife show than Hollywood Helga any day. Sorry, Penguin. Helga wants the polar bear. No can do, Penguin. The polar bear got the nod for Helga's show. You know, you are one persistent little penguin. I'd put you on my show, if I had one. That's right, you'd get a TV contract and all the food you could eat. Why, that's downright Machiavellian, Penguin. You'll go places in Hollywood, I can tell. do everything myself. <laughs> this is Helga's Wilderness Show. Today we'll meet a polar bear up close and personal. <laughs> Marty! So long, Helga. Hello, Monty's Wildlife Show. <laughs> Today, Monty's magical wilderness show will visit a very special penguin at home in his most comfortable setting. Dr. Rachel, I, I can't hide it anymore. I think it's time I told you how I feel about you. Tune in next week to see the dramatic conclusion on Woodpeck ER. Wow! The medical field is so exciting. The action, the drama. Nurse Winnie to emergency. No, Dr. Winnie to brain sir. No, no, Chief of Staff Winnie to the OR. Stat! I'm going to find out about a career in medicine today. Uh, but, boss, I'm so close. All I need is a proper subject to clone. Well, don't worry, boss. I'm on top of it. Yeah, I'm a dead man. If I don't find a subject to clone right away, I'm washed up. Finished! Where, oh, where will I find a volunteer? Huh? Hi! I want to work here. What are the odds? It's Winnie Woodpecker, and I'd like to become... That's fine, that's fine. If you'll just step into my lab, we'll run a few tests. <laughs> All right, listen up. This is a precise scientific instrument designed for only one purpose. Of course, <clears throat> I wouldn't expect a layman to understand. Why, no, sir. How could a layman be expected to know about a linear instrument designed to test the effect of the harmonic resonance on the rhombic area with an emphasis on the cordial nerve group? All right, then, let's get started. Huh? Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Oh, Doctor! My first 
worst medical emergency. Test complete, Doc. Am I ready to work in the ER? Uh, let's move on to another test, shall we? This test will measure your brain activity and IQ. Please answer all my questions as quickly as possible. Ready? Ready! What is two plus two? Four. What's the definition of plethora? A lot. What is mitosis? The division of a cell nucleus. What is the, the Ptolemaic system? system? Of Ptolemy in which the Earth is at the center of the universe. How did you get that so fast? Is this giving you the answers? Give me that. Now, ask me a question. Go ahead, ask me. Mm, what does that lever do? This lever... That is dangerous. Doctor, this will be perfect training if I decide to go into the physical therapy department. Just keep running. I have to find out if you're a good enough subject to clone. What did you say? I, 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 I said phone, phone. I have to test your hearing on the phone. Woodpeck ER. As I always say, when in doubt, improvise. <laughs> That's inflation for ya. Yes, another medical miracle performed by Winnie Woodpecker. Oh. Ooh, when can I use these, Doctor? Just get behind the machine. All right, Winnie, this should be painless. Winnie! Oh, I knew I should have finished medical school. Huh? I'm ready for my close-up, Doctor. <gasps> I, 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 I exam. That's it. I exam. Please read the top line. You. No, you read it. I? <sighs> yes, you. Now go ahead. Why? Because I said, okay? Okay. Oh, never mind. Let's do a cat scan and see what's going on in that head of yours. Oh, no, doctor. I'm allergic to cats. There's no cat here. That's just what it's called, a cat scan. But I sneeze, swell up, and itch all over. Look, CAT stands for Computer Axial Tomography. There is no feline in this machine. I'll prove it to you. Doctor, now that you see I can handle any emergency situation that arises, what department will I be working in? Emergency room? ER? Recovery? Operating theater? Whatever we do had better be in a hurry. <laughs> After all, my time is valuable and uh... Nothing! Nowhere! <gasps> I want you out of this hospital! Well, I'm not so sure I even want to work in a hospital that has the likes of you on the staff. Harsh words, but a doctor has to assert herself. I'm going all the way to the top, Doctor. That's not the elevator! Oh, I'll be blamed for everything. I gotta get out of here. Oh, no you don't, Doctor. You're not well enough to leave our care. Doctor Winnie Woodpecker, meet Nurse Winnie in the OR. Hello, Nurse Minnie. Who's your friend? He doesn't look well. Right this way, Bandy Boy. <laughs> <laughs> In order to work in a hospital, you've got to have patience. <laughs>